All right, this lesson is, is on approximating extrema. Extrema is a big blanket word for mins, minimums and maximums. So these are two specific kinds of extrema. So a minimum is a valley of a function. It's a low point. And you can abbreviate it min. Okay. A maximum is a high point of a function. Okay. It's a peak. You can have a function that has both a minimum and a maximum. You can have a function that only has a minimum. You can have a function that only has a maximum. Or you can have a function like a linear function that doesn't have any. This would have no extrema. Okay. So we have all those different possibilities. All that we're doing today with our extrema is we're going to approximate the point that they are at, okay? So that takes us back to graphing. So we are gonna graph number one on the calculator, okay? So, on the calculator, again, the y equals is right here. So we go to y equals, and we want to type this into our calculator, okay? The x button is right here next to the alpha key. So I hit my x. I want to go to the third power, so I need that exponent. So again, the exponent button, which is again called the caret, and then I type in a three. Remember that if you have a TI-83, that it's gonna type it in as <clears throat> X to the third like this. So there's nothing that you have to do. If you have an 84, a newer 84, you have to hit the arrow key to go back down to the bottom. So I have X cubed, and then I want minus, okay, subtraction. The minus button is down here, okay, above the plus sign, so minus 3x squared, okay? So I type in the number 3, and then I type in the x. And again, the squared button, I can either do the caret with the exponent, or again, remember on the calculator, the squared button is right here and that'll just type in a squared for me. And the squared button is on all of the calculators. So I have x cubed minus three x squared, and then minus two. So subtract two. The graph button is right here, okay? If it doesn't take you to a normal screen, remember you can hit zoom Six, zoom standard will take you to a standard screen. My screen was zoomed out a little bit, okay? So I have a maximum here and I have a minimum here. And this is all we're gonna do is we're gonna say maximum and minimum, okay? So I'm gonna look, you can always use the trace key. This one went right on that point. It's at zero, negative two. All the problems that I'm giving you right now are all very nice, easy numbers to deal with, okay? So I would write down that I have a maximum at zero, negative two. And we're just approximating the minimum and maximum. Um, and so this has a max of zero, negative two. And then I have this minimum down here of, and it looks like it's at two something, okay? So I'm not quite sure. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like maybe two, six. I'm gonna go to my table 
and I'm going to confirm, okay, your table's right here above the graph. So you hit second table. And if I look, look at that, two, negative six. So I have a minimum at two, negative six. Okay. So that's what I would write down for that problem. All right, I'm gonna do the same one again on the calculator on the phone. Okay, so I go to Y equals. If there's something in there, you have to clear it out. You can hit the clear button, which is right here. And then I'll type in X again to the third power. Again, I have to hit the arrow key. Again, to get your exponent, if you're still not quite sure how to do that, we use the caret button, which is right here. And then we use the number three minus two, or sorry, three x squared. And again, notice if I use the squared key, which again is on the left-hand side, that it automatically goes down back to the bottom for me, okay? And then we had a minus two. My graph button is right here. Now again, remember with the calculator that you have to grab. Notice my numbers. This is going from negative 200 to 200. This is too big. I need to zoom in, okay? So I need to get smaller so that I can get those points and I can grab and pinch with my phone. Now here's a nice thing about the phone, okay? You don't have to go to the table. If I touch my graph in any way, at any point, I can drag it, and now that one also happens to be a y-intercept, and so it snapped to that point. So I have a maximum at 0, 2, and then I can grab this bubble and keep tracing. If the bubble goes away, you just touch the line again. Okay, you can touch the line any place that you want, but you can grab this circle and drag it, and notice, clicked on that, that is a minimum, a minimum of 2, negative 6. Okay. <clears throat> All right, number two. I'm going to graph that one on my calculator. So I go back to my y equals. I have to clear out my old one. My clear button is right here, so I hit clear. And I type in a negative x squared. So your negative, again, your negative is right here. It's next to your enter key below, to the left of it, not minus. I have to hit negative x squared. So negative x squared plus 8x minus 15. And then I go to my graph. So now this one only has a peak. It just has a maximum. It looks like one, two, three, four. It looks like four, one. I'm going to go to my table and double check. Four, one. Okay. So I have a max at four, one. And then there are no minima. So I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that there are none. Okay. All right. I'm going to do the same with the phone. Okay. So I have to go back to done because I need to go back to the screen. And I go to, need to go to my Y equals, which is right there. And I need to clear this. Again, clear is in the exact same spot. It's right here, so clear. Typing everything in is exactly the same. The negative button, same thing, right here. So negative x squared, squared button. 
and then plus 8x, and then minus 15. All right, so I go to my graph. Now, this stays where I had it at my last graph. So this one's really nice. I really don't have to move it right at all. If you needed to, if you wanted to zoom out a little bit to see, okay, but you can grab it at any, you can just tap the green line anywhere. And if I drag it, it's gonna snap to that maximum. And so I have a maximum at four, one. Okay, so my maximum again is at four, one. There are no minimums on this one. All right, one more, this one. So on the calculator, I need to go to my y equals. Again, y equals is right here. I need to clear that out. So I'm going to hit the clear button right here. Clears out the equation. If you're on top of the equal sign, it won't clear it, okay? And I have to go over so I can type it in. Typing in x squared minus 2x plus 2. So x and your x key squared. You can use the exponent if you want, but the squared key is going to be faster. And then minus 2x. So I have to, again, use subtraction. So I need to use this one, okay? The subtraction symbol, minus 2 2x and then plus 2. We go to our graph. This one has a minimum. This one has a valley. It looks like it's at 1, 1. I'm going to again go to my table. Your table again is right here. It's above the word graph. So I have to hit my second key to get that one. So I do second table. And I look at 1, and yep, it's 1, 1. So I have a minimum of 1, 1. And I don't have any maximums. <clears throat> All right, so let's look at the same problem on the phone. I'm going to go again back to done, and I'm going to go to my y equals right here. I'm going to clear out my old equation, and I'm going to type in x squared minus, not a negative, not this one, but this one right here. I want this minus, okay, on the right-hand side, 2x and then plus two. And I go to my graph. If I touch it, I can scroll. It might snap, notice it, it'll snap to some of the points. This one snaps at the y-intercept. We're not necessarily looking for the y-intercept, I'm looking for this low spot. Um, if your y-intercept is a y is a minimum, it won't say. I don't think it'll say both. Um, so you have, but you, the idea is you have to be able to look at the graph and find where that point is. Okay. So this is at one one for my minimum, and that's finding minimums and maximum, approximating extrema. Um, of course, in the real life, not all extrema are going to happen at nice points. That is a lesson for another day.